So what we have is our 5200 millimeter wedge board strainer. We have two halves. This thing will sandwich together. We'll drive these wedges in here one at a time. And as we drive it in there, it'll pull these close together, real tight together, and wedge the wire in between these two halves of this wedge board stretcher. Then we'll be able to hook onto these and pull it that way. We'll put the other one in reverse so we can pull it together. We'll put our boundary strainer on both ends and cinch them together. And then we can use our magic to tie these wires together again. You'll notice on these that they're wedge shaped here and that's where it gets its name. Now we're all ready for this side. So it doesn't really matter where you attach the second one to, as long as you have enough room between the two to suck them together. And maybe you don't have too much extra so that you have a whole bunch of slack either. On this one, I'm probably gonna go like right here in this, this vertical. I'm just making sure this wire stays about even. So that hopefully we get the same tension all the way down. Now listen here, if you think you want some of this stuff, we sell it. There's a link in the video down below. These are offered in four foot, five foot, and six foot versions. It's gonna be in millimeters, but do a little bit of math and that's basically what they are. So link down below if you're interested in buying one of these wedge boards. And if you just want a couple of them that'll work for the right height, get the six foot. You can stretch five and four foot wire on a six foot wedge board. Hey, if you wanna spend a lot of money, buy all three. We're happy to help you out. What we're gonna use here is we're gonna use boundary strainers. All these are is a chain walker device where the, this will walk down the chain and pull these boards together, kind of like a come along, only a little bit better as far as I'm concerned. We'll put one at the top and one at the bottom and then tighten them up evenly and that'll take all the slack out of these wires. The big key here is make sure your chain's not twisted if you wanna use the whole thing. Just open that jaw up. This one. Slip that in there. Uh huh. Then you can hook this on. Then you can walk down. And two of us. Ready? If you got two people, you can have one high and one low, and we just start stretching evenly. There you go. Stop. I think we're pretty even there. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's pretty tight. That's pretty good right here. And that is how you do it. What we'll do right now is we'll put these T-posts in, finish up this quick repair. We just didn't want to box ourselves in considering we had a fence right here and we didn't want to have these in our way while we were stretching the wire. Don't forget, two wedge board stretchers along with two boundary strainers is the best setup. And you can use the six foot to do anything shorter than six foot. You can use the five foot wedge boards to do anything shorter than five foot. And you can use the four foot wedge boards to do anything shorter than four foot. If you wanted the best all round deal to stretch everything, the six foot's gonna be the cheapest, but hey, we don't mind selling you all three if that's what you really want. Don't forget to buy two so that you can do these gut strains. If you'd like to learn more about the wedge board stretchers that we used, check out this video right here. If you'd like to learn more about the T-Post driver that we're getting ready to use, check out this video right up here. We're SWI, Florida's Fence Company, and until next time, you have a good dang day.